Kawasaki Alice system. Imagine that your travel is seamless, sustainable, and completely stress-free. Here comes Kawasaki's innovative Alice system, which is to transform smart mobility at the Osaka Kansai Expo 2025. Alice, which means accessible linkages for innovative and comfortable experiences, aims to rethink the way we traverse the world. Imagine this. You climb into the sleek, high-tech Alice cabin directly from your doorstep. It glides automatically through city streets, docks onto a high-speed train, smoothly boards a ferry, or becomes attached directly to an airplane, and you never even get up from your cozy seat. It's travel transformed, keeping your journey seamless, untroubled, and totally trouble-free. It is powered at its heart with Kawasaki's groundbreaking OQ Void power unit, which has been derived from the legendary power plant of the firm's iconic motorcycle engines. Continental BEE autonomous car automotive manufacturers always aim for the unthinkable when designing cars. Continental is no different as they turn to nature when they were coming up with the concept of BEE. In full, the concept car is called Balanced Economy and Ecology. This concept car will be a part of a network of driverless vehicles, which functions in similarity to worker bees. The concept car is designed as a two-person vehicle. It embraces the technological trends in the field as it uses electricity as its power source. The BEE is expected to attain top speeds of around 38 miles per hour. The BIE battery will power the vehicle over a distance of 300 plus kilometers without flatlining. The autonomous vehicle will make use of regular smartphones, as users will need an app to summon the car. According to Continental, the period between summoning a car and its arrival will be a span of a few minutes. Microsoft Mesh Microsoft Mesh is a robust platform that can facilitate immersive, shared experiences on any device, regardless of the environment. The single, unified solution integrates Azure Cloud technologies, along with solutions such as the Microsoft Graph and enterprise-level security strategies, into one tool to support extended reality interactions within the modern workforce. Mesh constitutes the base of an innovative set of tools designed to engender fully flexible, agile, and connected workplaces, states Microsoft. It speaks to one of the greatest difficulties companies are facing in this new world of work, keeping workers connected and engaged. Microsoft's Work Trend Index found that nearly 43% of leaders recognize that relationship building is one of the greatest challenges of the hybrid and remote work era. Leo Solo Welcome the Leo Solo, your gateway to individual freedom of the skies like never before. Developed by Leo Flight Corporation, the innovative EVTOL aircraft is uniquely suited to individual aviators and modern-day explorers alike. It combines the excitement of flying with the ease, intuitive simplicity of driving an automobile. Weighing less than 254 pounds, you don't need a pilot's license to lift off thanks to total compliance with the FAA Part 103 regulations. That's right, the skies are open to you now. The Leo Solo is propelled by an efficient battery electric powertrain, complemented with 24 electrically ducted motors to deliver an exceptionally quiet, seamless ride with no exposed propellers. Less disturbance, greater safety. DJI Agris T50 Farming has just been revolutionized. Enter the DJI Agris T50, an agricultural beast of a drone, crafted solely for large-scale use. With its enormous 50-liter tank, this aerial farming machine is equipped to cover greater area in less time, making pesticide and fertilizer spraying quicker and more intelligent than it has ever been before. No more time wasted making constant refills, only uninterrupted spraying with high capacity and pure precision. With its cutting-edge spraying capabilities, each square inch of your field receives the proper attention. No waste, no guesswork. This equals healthier crops, improved yields, and real-time savings. And that's not all. DJI Agress T50 has lots of integrated sensors, which gather real-time, at-the-moment data, regardless of challenging weather conditions. Whether it's observing the health of your crops, finding pest hotspots, or examining your soil, 
The drone provides you with insightful information that enables you to make informed decisions immediately. With detailed field mapping integrated, you can visualize crop status like never before and devise efficient crop management strategies based on firm evidence. Arca Board Arca Space is the latest in a string of companies to release hoverboards around 21st October 2015. The date traveled to in 1989 sci-fi movie Back to the Future 2, in which character Marty McFly uses one to get around. Lexus has designed a board that relies on magnetic fields and tech startup Arcs Packs, which worked with pro skateboarder Tony Hawk to create its Hendo hoverboard. Arcaboard is constructed from aerospace-grade composite materials to make it both lightweight and sturdy. The board weighs 10 kilograms and includes a cooling system that protects the device from the heat generated by its electric motors. The Arcaboard is capable of lifting up to 110 kilograms of weight and comes in two versions, tailored for either weightlifting ability or battery endurance. Riders can enjoy up to six minutes before the board needs recharging, which takes six hours. Although the company has also designed an extra dock accessory that allows it to be recharged in 35 minutes. Virgin Hyperloop This Sunday, history was made in the Nevada desert. Virgin Hyperloop ran its first ever human test, and it was fast. Inside the sleek white and red pod, named Pegasus, sat Josh Giegel, the company's co-founder, and Sarah Lucian, head of passenger experience. As the airlock sealed and the vacuum tube emptied, the pod took off, reaching 100 miles per hour in seconds, then gliding to a smooth stop. This wasn't science fiction. It was the first real step toward Elon Musk's vision of pods flying through near airless tubes at over 700 miles per hour. The test happened at the Devloop track, 500 meters long in the Las Vegas desert. Virgin Hyperloop has done over 400 tests there, but never with humans until now. CEO Jay Walder summed it up. This is a full-scale working hyperloop with people inside. No one's come close. The future of travel, it's already here. Viceroy Sea Glider Meet the Viceroy Sea Glider, a revolutionary electric watercraft that floats, foils, and flies. Built by Regent, this 12-passenger vehicle operates in three modes. It floats like a boat, lifts on hydrofoils above waves, and then flies just above the water using ground effect, all without leaving the coast. Regent just launched sea trials for its full-scale prototype, named Paladin, a massive 55-foot machine with a 65-foot wingspan, making it the largest all-electric flying vehicle ever made. The trials in Narragansett Bay, Rhode Island, included its first crewed operations on water. And yes, it floated perfectly. Next up, foiling, then flying, with its first human flight planned for mid-2025. Regent also submitted its design for maritime certification to the U.S. Coast Guard, aiming for commercial service soon after. With a range of 180 miles and a cruising speed of 180 miles per hour, this sea glider could change the way we travel across the water forever. The future of coastal transport just took flight. Nokia Technology Vision 2030 According to the corporation, AI is the main emphasis of Nokia's 2030 technological plan, but it also encompasses the Internet Value System, Industry 5.0, Cloud Continuum, Metaverse, API Economy, Sustainability, Security, and a few more. According to Nokia, significant changes will occur in the technology environment by 2030. The industry has always been driven by digitalization, and cloud computing and artificial intelligence are continuously changing consumer technology and network business. AI's effect is growing right now. It will revolutionize communications while also streamlining a number of industrial solution procedures. The business stated Industry 5.0 is one of the main ideas presented in Nokia's Technology Strategy 2030. Haven 2 Module Haven 2 is set to begin with the launch of a single module on a Falcon Heavy rocket as early as 2028. This upgraded module, based on Haven 1, will be 5 meters longer and offer twice the internal volume. It will also include docking ports on both ends, allowing for flexible future connections. 
Launching in 2028 ensures Haven 2 overlaps with the operational timeline of the International Space Station. This overlap provides a critical backup in case of disruptions, such as an early Russian exit from the ISS program that could bring an earlier end to the ISS than NASA currently expects in 2030. Vast plans to follow up with three more modules in 2029 and 2030, launching them roughly six months apart. Each module will be structurally identical, but equipped with unique lab facilities. They will dock in a straight line, forming the initial station configuration. During this time, VAST will also upgrade from an open loop to a closed loop life support system, scheduled to be completed with the arrival of the fourth module. By 2030, a major expansion will take place with the launch of a large 7 meter wide core module aboard a SpaceX Starship. At that point, the four existing modules will undock and reconfigure around the new core in a cross-shaped layout. This core will feature additional docking and berthing ports, along with a robotic arm to support visiting spacecraft that cannot dock autonomously.